Okay, well, yeah, one, yeah, you know, you're there. Okay, I appreciate everybody being ready to go. Make sure you have a pencil out. Okay, today we're going to be reading the story, The Merchant of Venice. What's Venice? Okay, what is, first of all, what do we know? What's a merchant? It's like a prince. Does anybody know? Prince. No, not princess. quite. Princess. You know, McKaylee, shaking her head. No. You don't know, you know. Is it's it not like a, a princess? No, it's not a princess. So a merchant oh. is the same thing as like a business owner salesperson. Okay, so like a they, salesperson. Yeah, so they sell they sell stuff. That'd be a merchant, okay? So the merchant of Venice. Does anybody know where Venice is? Is it in Switzerland? No. So Venice is in Italy. Italy. It, Italy. Italy. Yeah. Italy. So Venice is in Italy, so we're talking about a, a person who sells stuff, a merchant in Italy in Venice. Okay. So okay. that's what we're gonna be reading about today. But before we read, we're gonna go over the vocabulary word. So Everybody find that first word on page 150. I want to see your pointer fingers at, pointing at it. I want to see those pointer fingers like the Beckham's ready to go back there. Appreciate being Jack and Alicia and Brayden, McKaylee being ready to go right there. Let's see your pointer finger, point at it, Miles. Let's get that pointer finger. Get that. All right. Okay, so that word for me, the word is sound. What's that word, everybody? Sound. Good. I'm glad I can hear your voice. Let's just say it again. The word is sound. What's that word? Sound. Good. Thanks for being nice and loud. You got it. Now I want to hear your turn to the person next to you and say it too. What's that word? Sound. Good. Now I want to hear you whisper. What's that word? Sound. Good. Now I want to hear you sound it out with me. You ready to go? Sound. sound. Yep, just, it's one, just one. One syllable. Okay. Appreciate you saying that with me. Ian had a sound plan for starting his business. Yeah. Okay, that's an example of a sentence. Okay. Or um, the idea to spend the night home was very sound because it was dark and dangerous outside. Yeah. Okay. So in this case, sound would be showing good what or judgment? Show good what? I know something isn't good isn't gonna happen. I feel uh choppy. Maybe I don't Oh, okay. So we're not maybe not a specific feeling. Go. In this case it'd be showing a good sense. Sense. Yes. Oh, sorry. I'm gonna have to recopy that. So sense or judgment. Okay, so if I show good sense or good judgment, I'm making a sound decision. So it'd be like when a random person comes up to you in the hall and asks if they can kiss you, okay, oh. and you tell them no, because that is a sound judgment call, okay? Good judgment call, because you have to use your senses to make it, okay? Show good sense, okay? Okay. All right, so make sure you got that written down. Got a pencil? Could you put them on the pencil, please? Okay. Like this? Yep. Okay. Good. Oh, let's get those in. Good. Appreciate it. Appreciate that, Jen. What does it say, Sal? Says, okay, so showing good. I'll rewrite it. Sense. Sense. Okay. Or judgment. So it's just kind of like making a good decision is kind of like the same thing as sound. So, um, just using good judgment, okay? It'd be like, would I, okay, so would I be making a sound decision if I don't have my driver's license, but I still drive the car, take a family car and drive it, would I be making a sound decision? No. What do you think, Jack? Jack, you don't need to write anything, just what do you think? Would I be making a sound decision if I go driving without my driver's license? A good would it driving be, license. Would it be sound decision, yes or no? A good sound. No, no, not a good sound. Okay. Good sound. Okay. Would it be a sound decision? Would it be a good decision, Jack, to go driving without a driver's license, yes or no? Sound. That's a good Oh, yeah. Good. <laughs> All right, okay, so it would be a good, it would be, would not be a sound decision. All right, okay, let's take a look at the example question. Thanks for helping us out there, Jack. Find the example question. Let's put that tech deck in your backpack or in your pocket. We're not working on our ollies during class, okay, our desk ollies, okay. 
All right, everybody find that example question with me. I want you guys to read it out loud. Appreciate being ready to go, Jackson. Pointer finger like the Braden's ready to go with the pointer finger. Appreciate being ready to go back there, Beckham. Yeah, everybody read it out loud with me. Start with what is ready, go. What is a sound piece of advice you have received? Good. Appreciate reading that sentence out loud with me. Thanks so much. I can hear your voices nice and loud. So. What is a sound or a good, basically, you replace sound with good. What is a sound piece of advice you have received? Okay, so in the blank, you're going to write, a sound piece of advice I have received is to what? So what's something somebody's told you that would be a smart thing to do? Let's go and write sound. What's a, a smart thing. What's a good thing to do? Just in general, what's a good thing to do? Go shoot what? Go shoot, okay, so a sound piece of bias I've received is to go shoot hoops to get better at basketball. Okay. So you could you could shorten that to say like it would be to practice basketball to get better or something. Okay. A good thing for me is going to be good at ice skating. Okay, so what has somebody told you to get better at how have they what do they tell you to do to get better at ice skating? Do fish? Yeah, you do like fish. Oh, okay. So you would say a sound piece of advice I have received is to do fish or fishies when I ice skate. Yeah, it's like they go in and out. Okay, another example, an easy one would be to a sound piece of advice I've received is to drive on the right side of the road. Oh, yeah, that's me. Okay. I do. Okay, or a sound piece of advice I've received is to keep my hands to myself. Is to practice basketball. Okay, did you write that? Okay. Yeah. Good. Good. Okay. Why Why would you need to practice basketball, Jack? Why would you want to practice it? To practice basketball. Why would you want to practice it, though? Is to feel better. It's to get better. Oh, whatever you want. Okay. And you guys are rewriting something. Okay, I'm going to put an example up here. Sound piece of my advice. The advice I have received is to treat others the way you'd like to be treated. Yes. The golden rule. The golden uh, rule. How do you spell ice skating? Fishies? Fishies? Yeah, you know what's fish. Yes. Okay, I need you to be writing. Or if you can't think of something, you can copy what I have up here on the board, but I need you to be writing something back there. I need you to be writing. All right, Miles, come, come sit right here. Come sit right here. Because you're distracting Brady, and you're not working, so come sit right here. Mr. Larkin, the sound piece of advice I have received is to practice basketball. Okay, thanks, Jack. Okay, I need to copy the sentence off the board. something and just sit here and just twiddle your thumbs up all period. Come on, you got this. I know I know you I know you got good stuff to say. Okay. Alright. Why you guys I want you to share with us the sentence I'm gonna make sure you got something here. And then I'm gonna have you guys share your sentence with the person next to you. Okay, so Beck I'm gonna have you read yours to Kaylee. And Lisha I'm gonna have you read yours to Jack. Then Raiden I'm gonna have you read yours to me. Okay. So the person that's gonna read first Okay, is the person with um, the what? smallest feet? Oh my! Out of the two. That was you read first. Oh, that's me. Okay. You said it when they first on the do it. You have smaller feet than Beckham. Or is Beckham you have smaller feet than the kid? I don't know, but you said you read first. No, it's you tell me. Who has the smaller feet? feet? Let's see. Let's see. Who has the smallest feet? <laughs> 
Better read them first. Oh. Okay, first person to read to a partner ready. Go. A son of peace. A peace others are so way you like. Should be easy, right? Okay, mm -hmm. well, I want you to go ahead and share with us the sentence that you wrote, please, Jack. A sound piece of advice I have received is to practice basketball. Good, so if you practice basketball, that would be a sound piece of advice if you're trying to get better at it, because you wouldn't get better if you just watch it, right? Yeah. Really good sentence, Jack. Go ahead and share, share with us what you put, please, Beckham. Um, uh, a sound piece of advice that I have received is treat others the way you like. Good. So the way you like, yeah. If you like <laughs> to be treated, you want to treat them the same way, right? Otherwise, that's not very good because if you're very disrespectful to somebody, would you like other people to be very disrespectful to you? How do you like that? No. no. Yeah, like so that. just, you know, I don't know, whatever. Okay. All right. Really good sentence, Beckham. Okay. Let's take a look at the next word. Everybody find that next word with me. Find it. Find it with your pointer fingers. I like that Alicia's already to go. Appreciate being ready to go, Brayden. Beckham, let's get that pointer I'm finger. Pointer finger. Doing great over there, Jack. Okay. Find that word. The word is alter. What's that word, everybody? Alter. Good. Let's just say it one more time. The word is alter. What's that word? Alter. 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 Good. Now, why don't you say the person next to you? Alter. Good. Now, why don't you say the ceiling? Alter. Now, I want to hear you whisper it. Okay, good. Now I want to hear you sounding out with me. Ready, go. Alter. Thank you so much. Okay, so we had to alter our plans when it started raining when we were on the way to the beach. Okay. Or um, I had to alter my dress. Okay, because I didn't like the way it looked on me. Okay. okay, so in this case, alter would be to what? What does that mean? You need to... Mm, or keep it the same? I copied it down. Yes, keep it the same. Okay, if I alter it, am I keeping it the same? Alter your schedule. What am I doing? Oh, you're changing it. Fixing it or changing it. Yeah, okay, so let's just say... Like changing your dress. Okay, let's say do fix slash change. Okay, so if I fix something or change it, that would be to alter it. Okay, and it doesn't have to be like fully fixed, but if you just change it, which if you're fixing something, you're changing something, okay, that would be to alter. Okay, I appreciate helping us come up with that definition, Michaela. So, um, for example, when I dye my hair pink, would I have altered my hair color? Yes. Yes, okay. What if I wear the same clothes I'm wearing today, tomorrow, would I have altered my um, outfit? No. No, that would not be kind of weird, right? Okay. Um, okay, I want you to find the example question with me. Find it with your pointer fingers, find it with your pointer fingers. I want to hear those voices. Read it with me out loud, read it with me out loud. Let's start with why am I, oh, find it, ready, go. Why might you alter your Saturday afternoon plans? Good, so why would you alter, why would you change your Saturday afternoon plans? So you're gonna write, I might alter, sorry my A kinda looks like a Q there. That was an accident. He needs to alter his A. I need to alter that A right now. I'm changing Are we it. Okay, there we go. I might alter my Saturday after plans to what? 
So what stuff do you guys want to do on Saturday afternoon? So let's say... Watch college football. Ooh, watch college football. That's a really good example. Watching a Christmas movie. Watch a Christmas movie. Watch me. Watch college football. Watch a Christmas movie. I love it. Christmas movies? Okay, what else would you do? Let's write something else. What else would you do? Okay, so let's write that down. So watch a Christmas movie. Okay, you go Christmas shopping. You go, um... I don't know, maybe to hang out with your family. Maybe you were going to hang out with your friends, and now you're going to hang out with your parents instead. Who's going to do that? I don't do that. What? Uh oh. So I, I don't have high school to look forward to when my kid gets older. He's never going to hang out with me. Karen, is that true? <laughs> yeah. I might alter my Saturday afternoon plans to yeah, watch the basketball game, to maybe practice my jump shot. Or watch Christmas movies in watch, my PJs. Ooh, watch Christmas movies in my PJs. Maybe I'll go to a movie and eat popcorn. That's me. Okay. Um, I might alter my Saturday afternoon plans to... And then go to the restroom. Yeah. Okay. Um, Thanks for waiting patiently, Michaela. Will you go ahead and share that with us now? Yeah, yeah. So if you if you go Christmas shopping and you alter your Saturday afternoon plans to go do that, you would have changed whatever you were gonna do to go shopping now. Really good sentence, Michaela. You want to go share that with us? 
On my altar, my Saturday yes, afternoon plans to watch a Christmas movie. Ooh, Christmas movie, yeah. So if you alter your Saturday afternoon plans to watch a Christmas movie, you would have changed whatever you're going to do to go watch that Christmas movie, right? Really good sentence. And last one, shirt you put, please, Alicia? This is my altar. It's time for Saturday plans to watch a Christmas movie. Yeah, so if you alter those Saturday afternoon plans to watch Christmas movies, definitely would have changed something to do that, right? Okay. Really nice work there. Let's just go over. We got one more vocab word here at the bottom of page 150. Okay, I kind of went over this word a little bit before, but we're just going to go over it before we read. So eyes up, heads up, seven up. Heads up, seven up. Heads up, seven up. You know that game, Becca? How did that game? Not too bad. If, it, if we didn't have COVID right now, maybe we could play that. Okay. All right. Okay. The find out word of the bottom, page 150. The word is merchant. What's that word, everybody? Merchant. Right? Okay. I didn't hear everybody the word merchant. What's that word? Merchant. Okay. Thanks for saying that nice and loud. It was almost too loud, but I like it. Okay. Merchant is a person who sells goods to make money. So kind of like I told you, almost like a store owner, or just someone like a salesman. So they sell something to make money. So a long, long time ago, merchants would like travel around to sell stuff. They wouldn't just be in one town. Well, sometimes, but a lot of times they would like travel around to different areas. Um, and that's how a lot of things around the world got traded and like people got stuff from around the world and merchants would travel around and buy and sell stuff and things like that. Yeah. So here's what we're going to do. Um, we are going to... of a drama okay so if you notice here looks like these guys are handing off something to maybe some sort of religious character there okay right here this guy's opening his shirt for some reason okay um i don't know what that means but we're gonna find out okay The contract. Yeah, so a contract is something you sign to so like keep a promise. Okay. So top page 150. So from the mer the Merchant of Venice starts with if you have legal. So that, if you have a legal right to something, do you always have to? Do you have to right to something, do you always have a right to take what is yours? yours. Shakespeare's The Merchant of Venice features a dramatic court case about this question. After Antonio borrows money from Shylock and can't repay it, Shylock demands a pound of flesh from near Antonio's heart. Okay. This is the penalty stated in the contract. But this will kill Antonio. When the day of the trial comes, Shylock insists on the pound of flesh, even though Antonio can pay, or sorry, can now pay Shylock three times goods of money in return. The Duke of Venice has made Portia the judge. What should she do? Alright, so what what does the person want? They want money? Do they? So they made a contract okay, where he said they get a pound of what? Flesh. 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 Flesh.
she wants him to tear it up, okay? Instead of taking the flesh out of by his heart. So that would kill him. So somebody cut open into you and then took a pound of you. A pound of flesh. A pound of your flesh. Near your heart. Okay. You probably would die. 